Hello friends, my name is Binaki and welcome to my channel Fintech Logics. Today we will discuss about uh, data enrichment and how digitization is playing a role. So this is uh, the part two of my previous video of uh, digitization in case of application submission. So let's begin. Now this is the process that we discussed, simplified process uh, that we discussed last time. And now let's look at the data enrichment. Now first digitization that was brought forth and that is being used uh, very extensively in this is SMS data enrichment. So uh, as we talked before, uh, there has been a uh, lot of lending applications uh, being made available to customers at this point of time. So customers would uh, download the app from Google Play Store um, or uh, your Apple um, uh, Play Store. Once they give rights to the lender, your SMS data, not all SMS, only the financial information availability SMS would be pulled in and from that SMS data, lot of insights can be drawn about the customer's financial behavior. So for example, your SMS data also talks about incoming and outgoing funds transfer from customer's account, just to give an example. So SMS data enrichment is very important that is uh, being held by digitalization at this point of time. Second one is location data. So location data is also shared by your mobile device. So it tells you how, uh, what is the normal distance of customer's uh, work location from the residential location. Just to give an example, what are the different locations customer is in? That also gives an idea that, okay, there are less chances of fraud here by getting location data. Third one is digitalization for getting credit bureau data. So gone are those days where long credit bureau reports were pulled. It was being manually read by uh, the uh, processor and then the data was fed. That uh, days are gone. So at this point of time, you ask for the parameters and utilizing the APIs, the data can be pulled directly from credit bureaus. Next one is about PAN data enrichment. So PAN, as you see that permanent account number uh, enriches with some key pieces of information like your photo, uh, like your name. Uh, it doesn't have your address, but it, it has certain details that can be pulled and that helps for verification of customer's true identity. To take it further, Aadhaar uh, data enrichment also pulls lot of verified data about the customer. That is, this is being used in a rapid way at this point of time, bringing lot of data about the customer's identity and also address. Next one is about bank enrichment. So now you would have heard about uh, the challenge deposit or one rupee deposit that is being done by uh, the lenders in the borrower's account and in return a uh, lot of parameters about the bank account can be pulled in by the lender. So those details uh, which are specifically used are how long the account has been active uh, for, uh, who is the actual uh, holder of that account, which bank it is, all those details can be pulled in. So the same uh, account uh, verification is also used uh, for disbursements without any ambiguity. The next one is about negative list linkage. So if the customer is there uh, in any blacklisted um, database uh, for fraud or history cheaters um, um, or even association with any AML anti-money laundering activities, those details can be enriched real time. The next one is about customer feedback. Now this is specifically used for uh, business borrowers. So wherein there are apps like your 
yellow pages uh, google places so from their customers of the borrower right those feedback can be pulled that okay the borrower is doing a good business with this satisfaction or dissatisfaction how long there has been feedbacks from there it is evident that how long the business is existing those details can be pulled in the next one is about ocr so even if we are integrating with many parties even if we get some physical or uh, scanned document using optical character recognition those details can be deciphered and they can be directly added as enrichment to the application this eliminates the need of a processor going through these documents manually and doing it uh, in system this comes handy in case of home loans in going through the uh, 100 pages long property documents title documents etc and eliminates the job of the processor the next one is about income tax or gstn now income tax is not that evident uh, here but uh, gstn data has been frequently used these days with the digitization of gstn platform your um, your all invoices related information how much the tax have been submitted uh, uh, by the business those details can be pulled in that acts as a good piece of information for further verification of the business the next one is about image match so image match is about uh, using data enrichment techniques specifically used for photos or photographs of the borrower being received from multiple sources so for example you get photograph from pan card and you get photograph from aadhar now somebody would compare that now most of these lenders also ask for a selfie a self photograph that has to be taken by the borrower at the time of application submission now this also acts as a good piece of verification if the photo of the uh, which is available in your aadhar or pan card matches with the selfie so this straight away tells us that okay definitely the borrower is a genuine customer who wants to take a loan now the last one but not the list is about user cam so where there has been um, applications like uh, ux cam uh, where it shows the journey of the customer when he is trying to fill up the application process so where he stopped uh, what difficulty he is facing uh, where all there have been there has been unnecessary pauses those things can be received in digitized form and can be used either for verification or for making the user's journey smooth now these are different types of enrichment those are being used in digitized form in current market uh, that is actually making the data uh, enrichment process much more authentic and is also bringing down the turnaround time less because all these things can be done in milliseconds not even seconds um, to eliminate the process of complex uh, field investigations to collect data and to manually verify i hope uh, you would have liked this video uh, if you need to have any additional details about any of these how does it uh, work and who are the players please let me know in comment section uh, thanks a lot uh, viewers